Hello, my beautiful souls. My name is Jennifer Walker Zen. I'm a psychic intuitive, and today we're going to do an all signs weekly read. And it's going to be like we always do the weeklies. I'm just doing it all in one video. Sometimes you guys complain about the amount of uh, uh, notices you get uh, when I release multiple videos. So we're going to try it this way. If it works, you know, I'll try it again. If not, I'll just go back to the way I did it before with the weeklies. All right, so it'll be October 6th to the 12th. And we're just going to do the day to day, the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges and the overall outcome. And I'm going to put the timestamps below and it's just going to be just like I would do with the individual reading, except it's all in one video. All right. So, and you can check your sun, moon, rising sign for more information. All right. So let's jump right in here. And first let's also, the first sign here we're on is Aries. Okay. And now we switch to other camera view. We're going to have to make sure we put that on for Aries. <laughs> okay. All right, Aries, we're going to be looking at your weekly love forecast horoscope for October 6th to the 12th. Let's take a look. So what's going to happen to Aries, romantic love life, October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards you need to. See. Show me the cards I need to. See. All right, Aries, this is going to be your day today. And just like we would normally do it. Let's make sure we get it straight here, okay. Okay, there we go. Pull that over there. Okay. This is the love interest feelings. Blockage delays and challenges. Overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, somebody's avoiding something here. Okay, so I see that the the blockage or obstacle this week, and by the way, this is a, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, 11th, and the 12th of October. So the obstacle or blockage is somebody needs to end another situation, looks like. Looks like there's two doors. One is opening up, but somebody needs to end a situation for this new beginning, death card energy, or the issue could be that there's somebody that you have ended a relationship with and they're coming back forth. So let's let's see what's going on here. Okay, coming to the first day. Ace of Pentacles energy. Looks like on the sixth, you guys have this huge offer coming in. Huge potential with someone here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Let's just go down the layer. Let's use the gypsy here. All right, so October 6th to 12th, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's this about? You got some kind of offer. Yeah, someone wants to be loyal, devoted. Okay, Aries, we're starting off with a bang. Okay, on the 6th, it's coming up soon too. All right, so some kind of huge offer coming in for you, Aries. Somebody wants to be devoted and loyal to you. Okay, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Let's use this deck here. Mm -hmm. What's got my Aries Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards you see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. Oh yeah, someone's very emotional about you, has feelings for you. Okay, so on the 7th, you're getting some kind of spiritual signs. So you may want to like pay attention to your dreams. Okay, any kind of signs you get on this day, like your intuition's on point here. You're getting some kind of profound sign about this person who wants to be with you, okay? And something is coming to light for you. Something is being um, shown to you, okay? Something uh, that you're amazed about, okay? So I see there's strong emotions, there's huge potential with this person, and your intuition is like, yeah, this is the one. I feel like this is the one, you know? This is, this is the one I feel like I have a strong future for, with. Because pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term, okay? So going further here. You also have another offer, Aries, a potential passion, a one there, Ace of Wands. Um, this one, this person seems, and this is on the eighth, this person seems to be in a sense of despair about you, desperate here to get your attention. So as we saw, there was a death card there. So this could be somebody from before because it seems like there's a lot of hurt and pain there, okay? So let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Somebody really wants to have some kind of sense of peace and harmony. So you got two offers now coming in, okay? Now, for some of you, they could be brand new offers, okay? Some of you, 
that one could be a new offer, one could be a renewed offer, okay? Uh, but yes, you got some good stuff going on in your romantic love life so far. Cross my fingers here, okay? So we're going to the ninth here, Aries. And somebody desperately wants to hold on to you with the Four of Pentacles energy. Like, I'm not letting you go, Aries. I don't know what you think, but I'm going to sit and I'm going to wait and I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So you get some kind of message, some kind of invitation here or a package for some of you guys. Somebody is, is making some moves here to communicate with you. Okay, so far, what do we see, Aries? We see strong feelings. We see uh, somebody who is interested in getting your attention and having a sense of peace and harmony for you, with you, and having a conversation, talking, speaking, communicating. So somebody it looks like you were out of communication with here. Maybe that's the potential passionate one because that's, if we go this way with it, we can see where it's coming from there. Uh, so it could be that person that you had that potential passionate situation with before because they're desperate, really desperate to talk to you. Okay, so on the 10th, looks like you do have communication coming in, eight of wands. Seems like things are a whirlwind. Uh, also feel like from this card, it's a sense of surprise about it. Um, also because of this communication about deep love. So you're gonna get communication about this deep love. I love you, right? Someone's like, wow, there's something more about this. Wow, okay. Yeah, star card shows hopeful signs. Hopeful signs around this. It's like uh, spiritual signs, hopeful signs. Very interesting. Okay, let's just go down the layers since we have two offers here for you guys. Let's just get more information. Let's have my Aries Romantic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, one more time here, Aries. Let's have my Aries Romantic Love Life. October 6th to 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So there is somebody I, I feel like you wanted some space from, but there's this strong sp soul contract there. You're feeling the signs there on the seventh. Someone's letting you know you're irreplaceable, Aries. And I wanna fix and mend this situation. So there is somebody around this that you had dealt with before, okay? And they do wanna fix this situation with you, okay? Um, you're definitely looking at the past. And like This is like dealing with the shadow side of the situation, a realization about, all the stuff that has happened, right? That's like, you know, the stuff that you're kind of like putting in your subconscious mind. But you know how like, like if you're not thinking about a person for a while, you don't think about all the trauma and stuff that, that happened with that situation. And then uh, you kind of reflect on it. You're like, oh, this happened. Oh, that happened. Yeah, ooh, this happened. Ooh, yeah, that happened. Oh my goodness, okay. So that's what's gonna happen on here on the 10th here. Some of that stuff's coming to the surface and you're gonna be like, ooh, ah, okay, that happened too, ooh. Okay, so let's move to the, the next day here, which is on the 11th. So it looks like Aries, you're getting what you want here with the Nine of Cups energy. You're getting your wishes fulfilled here. It looks like there's a blessing, divine timing around this, and also this can represent this can represent a good outcome, okay? Seeing that no matter how difficult the situation is, it's gonna be a good outcome, okay? And then we go further on this, going further on this. Yeah, there's a sense of destiny around this situation, okay? Um, so someone's gonna to try to argue the points, even though there's like all these issues, they're like, no, you're my soulmate, we're destined to be together, I want you, okay, that kind of energy is coming out. So this waiting around to see how things are gonna play out, Seven of Pentacles energy. And like, okay, let's see if we can, we can work this out. So I wanna gain some kind of knowledge, book card energy. And I'm cautious, right? Cause this whole situation is very draining and overwhelming. So obviously the reason why this is an obstacle or blockage is because now you have two choices, right? And one of them has to, to be picked and also one of them could be somebody from before, okay? So uh, obviously, because there's some kind of bending going on, dealing with the shadow sides, trying to disagree about the situation, know you're my soul, tie, that kind of energy. Okay, so how does your love interest, whoever this is, Aries, how do they feel about you romantically? They're doing a lot of soul searching about you with the Hermit card energy. With the Eight of Pentacles energy, they may want to spend some money on you. 
to uh, or buy your affections here with the eight of pentacles energy or put effort into this connection because they really feel hurt and sad and they want to end this tough cycle this talks about ruination plans this talks about ending some hard things here with the ten of swords but Definitely, they're thinking about you heavily and, and what to do and how to end this tough cycle with you. Obviously, we know the obstacle, delay, and challenge is the death card energy. And coming to the next card, so bringing it all together is a whole picture here. So I see that there's this travel situation happening. And somebody that's coming in that you've been waiting for. And I see you're going to contemplate of who you're going to give your heart to. Because remember, you have two offers coming in. One that's potentially serious, long-term, and one that's a potential passionate one. So you guys will know. Listen to your intuition. All right. Uh, so let me move this out of the way. And we're going to move on to our next sign here in a second. I just want to move this out of the way first. But an amazing week for Aries, that's for sure. Love, divine timing, a blessing. Okay, moving this out of the way. Desperation. Okay, huge potential. Okay, holding on, communication. I want you, desire you, want to invest time in the connection. Okay, let's move this out of the way. All right, we're gonna move on to now our Tauruses. All right, so we're on Taurus now. Okay, Taurus, we're gonna be looking at your day today, your love interest feelings, the box delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And uh, we're gonna do it the way we always do it, so no worries. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. All right, so what's gonna be my Taurus's romantic love life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Taurus. Well, that's definitely an omen. There's someone coming towards you pretty, pretty fairly fast in a Knight of Wands kind of fashion. Okay. All right, well, let's see what that's about. All right, this is the love interest feelings, block delays and challenges this week, and the overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, ooh, yeah, someone's interested. They, uh, there's somebody you want around this situation. All right, so it looks like somebody wants to play politics. It could be an older uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or somebody who you feel is very intelligent, just knows how to uh, speak, how to present themselves. It could be like a kind of politician-like, or for some of you guys, there is this lack of communication with somebody, because uh, obviously sword energy represents communication. All right, or somebody's thinking with their head over their heart, making over the uh, head over heart decision that could be causing an obstacle or blockage in romantic love life. Okay, so we're, we're dealing with October 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So let's come to the first day. Oh my goodness, okay, seven of swords coming out. I wasn't being honest about this. Somebody's being dishonest. What is that about? Sneaky sly. Are they spying on you? What's going on? I, I often see, when I see the readers with the, the page of swords, the seven of swords is the spying card. Just look at this person. Look what they're doing. They're just sneaking. <laughs> sneaking around. That's spying. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen to my Taurus's romantic love life October 6th to the 12th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, we're going to also use this other deck here, so let's just shuffle that and jump in. Let's have my Taurus's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out, Taurus. Okay, so there is, somebody's trying to get, yeah, they're trying to get info, info on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Look, they're trying to get info on you in a sneaky, sly way. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Because there's this concern about going around in circles and repeating some kind of pattern here. Okay. So let's use the, let's use this. You know, we haven't used the romance angels in a while. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. All right. What's going to have my Taurus advance to glove life October 6th? Well, show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Look at that red flags. Ah, so there's some sly slick energy going on here, Taurus. Okay, just be cognizant of this day. It's just this person's kind of get, trying to dig up some information, trying to find out what's going on with you, feeling like they're going around in circles. They want to find out. They feel like kind of trapped in like a circle here. Okay. Okay, so we see there could be an ending here. Maybe you're ending in a situation with this person. Um, the sly slick energy now is over. Let's see what that's about. And you get a surprise. Okay, so on the seventh, there's some kind of surprise coming in. Okay, what is that about? What is this surprise about? Uh, let's see here. Going down to the next card, something comes to light on this day. Ooh, just, this is an interesting day. Definitely when, when guys, when, when this day comes out, I want you to tell me what the heck is this surprise about here? Okay, what is this about? What is this surprise? <gasps> Ooh. This is somebody who is trying to do something outside of the box. Like open-minded. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So something unusual about this situation, you're surprised. Huh, so someone's trying to dig up information. There's this concern about red flags. They need to find some kind of knowledge. And there's, you get the surprise about, oh, I'm, oh, I've left that relationship. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? So you guys are looking quite sexy, attractive here on the eighth. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. What's that about? So it looks like someone's trying to give you some advice. Older sister, daughter, uh, excuse me, older sister, uh, aunt, mother. Okay. They're trying to hook you up with some advice here. Okay. What's that about? about something about this work situation, a sense of stability, uh, you know, stableness. Okay, what's that about? Uh, and this concerns about this, maybe this person not telling you the truth or lying or some sly slick energy. So far we got this strange combination going on here where someone is concerned about going around in circles and they're trying to dig up some information to find out, okay, have they really ended that relationship? Because there's a work situation going on and like there's a, like, like a, like a uh, energy of trying to stay open-minded about the situation and someone's trying to give some advice about this lying and sly energy here. Okay, you guys probably didn't even see that, uh, but that was weird. <laughs> um, that's interesting, okay, I'll just talk about it real quick. Um, so what I saw was with my, um, uh, I saw like a huge white light over here. Like just, just, did you, I don't, maybe the camera picked it up, but it was just a flash. I have blinds here, so it's not like there's no light coming. There's no other lights. It's just the lights here that I have in my studio and nothing blinked. Okay. But anyway, maybe the camera picked it up. We'll see. Um, sometimes the camera does pick up those kinds of things. Okay. I actually, I had a ghost voice. Uh, that the, um, the, the microphone picked up. It was like a while ago. Um, you, you guys can find it if you look at my channel. Anyway, so we see that the Ten of Wands is here and there was this burdens and responsibility. There's going to be this burden, since this burden's responsibility here on the ninth. And I see that there is the this issue around the marriage involved with this situation. Okay, let's keep going. And not wanting to give up on this connection. Yeah, marriage is involved with this. Or for some of you guys, it could be the, the sense that, um, you know, there's a want for a long-term commitment with this person, but I, I get the sense, I know, I don't want to be toxic here, Taurus, but, it seems to me like there's this issue because maybe this person's still in a marriage and they're saying that they're ending it. So there's trying to like, let me dig around, get me get, get information to see what the deal is for sure. Okay, let's, let's keep going here. So it seems like there's some frustration here on the 10th about this house and home situation. And whoa, this major shock and surprise. Now that's interesting because of that <laughs> light that I saw. And then we got the tower saying, wow, there's gonna be a major, a major shock here. What is this about? Ooh, you're gonna find out that was unrequited love with this person. You're gonna be shocked by it. 
You'd be like, oh my God, you're going to find out about this argument at this house at home and that there is this unrequited love. So then you're just being patient for things to come into balance. Isn't it interesting with this card? Just take a look at this card. This, uh, this woman is, she's kind of like in, in a nice place, but she's also like, okay, can I look yet? Can I look yet? <laughs> like she's, she's, temperance is healing, patient for things to come into balance. There is a person that's coming towards you on the 11th that's like desperate, they're in desperation mood here. And look at that, it's gonna produce a good outcome for you guys in your romantic love life. What? Oh my goodness. Yes, this could be the one. This could be the one. So you get definitive confirmation here. That's what the, the big shock and surprise situation was about. Yes, it's going fast now. Eight of Wands energy. This is the message you've been waiting for. Yep, the message you've been waiting for. Oh my goodness. Tr true love? Oh, oh, that, this is a good read. This is a good read. Considering what, it was going in a weird direction, it was like, it totally flipped. It totally flipped. What a turn of events this week for you guys. What a turn of events. Okay, let's find out how your love interest feels about you. They feel like you're a blessing. They feel like there's a sense of luck here. They feel like they want to marry you. They want a long-term commitment that they're reminiscing about the past. Okay, so we see the obstacle or blockage seems to be needing to play politics, uh, trying to be logical about the situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow, you can even see it in the overall outcome. Just, all right, let me just bring it together here. Okay. Proceeding with caution, so it seems like you're like, oh, oh my goodness, what is going on here? I'm going to get hurt. That's exactly what it feels like here in the beginning, okay? Oh my goodness. This is like, uh, what happened here? I can't cross this. And then there is this sense of, oh, oh, what happened here? I can't believe this happened. And it moves right into Ten of Cups, like long-term emotional fulfillment here. Ten of Cups energy. Wow, what a reading. So far, so far, so good. Taurus, you got the best reading so far. Like, that was a huge turnaround. This is going to be a good week for you guys. I mean, at first, you know, prepare yourself for the first couple days of this week, but uh, good reading. Look at this. I mean, literally, I was going around in circles. Something comes to light about this money situation. I don't want to give up. Shock and surprise. Good outcome. Blessings. Messages. So everything hits the fan with this, with this situation with their, their person. Knowledge of surprise, mother, older sister, aunt, marriage, household, family, desperation, a message you've been waiting for. Sly, slick energy, deceptions, lying ends, attraction, sexiness, burden's responsibility causes an argument, dispute. We see healing a situation, things come into balance, and communication comes in fast. Things happen fast. All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're moving on to our Geminis. Hello, my beautiful Geminis. We're going to be looking at your weeklies. October 6th to the 12th. All right, so we're going to do this the way we always do it. What's that, my Geminis? Romantic love life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me cards in the sea. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. All right, Gemini's, let's take a look here. All right, so we got the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th. Let's also make sure we get this all even here. The 11th, 11, 11 there, 12. This is your love interest feelings. Blockage delays and challenges. Overall outcome. You got a major arcana for your blockage here. All right, so should I take a risk leap of faith? I need some kind of clarity about this house situation. Okay. Um, so I see that there's this blessing here. So either there's, there's uh, it's like, is it time? Like there's some issues around timing or something here as the obstacle or blockage. Like, is this a blessing? Is it time? 
will I have a good outcome? Because also I see the Wheel of Fortune, like, because it's Jupiter energy, it, will I have a good outcome? Should I take a gamble? It's like my casino card. Should I take a gamble? Am I going to have a good outcome? Am I going to win? Am I going to win? <laughs> Am I going to win the slots? Okay, let's find out. All right, so it looks like there's some juggling going on here on the 6th, maybe juggling of a schedule or needing to make a heavy decision here on the 6th uh, about something long term, okay? So let's go my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what do we got going on here? So, yeah, someone's thinking about you. There is some thoughts here, some plans about making this heavy decision. Okay, let's keep going. What is this heavy decision about? Maybe we can get more information here. What's going to have my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Gemini, let's see. So it's like a, a, an energy of like, I should proceed with caution. Okay, let's use, let's, let's just use the, 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 uh, the Romance Angels again. Okay, Doreen, let's use Doreen. All right, so let's use their, her deck. What's gonna happen with Gemini, Romance, and Love Life, October 6th to 12th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, what's gonna happen? Wow, something about this situation, Gemini, is like, this is worth waiting for, but I want to proceed with caution and make sure I make this heavy decision or I juggle my schedule properly. Okay, so what do we got going on here? There's somebody heavily thinking about you. They have thoughts, they have plans, long-term plans about you. Four Swords Energy. Uh, wow, there's thoughts and plans maybe about even starting a family here, or there could be a child around this situation or this concern about being naive for some of you guys because I know you guys are going to come in the comments saying I'm not, I'm out of that age group I can't I'm, no 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 okay so it could be there could be a child around this okay could be this concern about being naive thoughts and plans maybe this concern about somebody having someone new okay that could be the case too with the child card energy trying to live in the moment trying to play playful okay that could be the child card energy all right so it looks like there is a, a want to take a risk. Okay, so we see so far. I got to proceed with caution. I really want to take a risk. Okay, why? Okay, what's going on? Okay, so someone definitely wants to make an effort toward you for the long term. Okay, so we got that. That's on the 7th. All right, let's see what's going on. Ooh, there's a family situation. Money family situation. Abundance here coming in uh, on the 8th. You get some kind of knowledge book court energy. Okay, what's that about? You get some kind of not, you get a confirmation here. Letter, message, document, paperwork, some kind of confirmation here. Yeah, you're really living in the moment. You're enjoying yourself on the 8th. So it's like, wow, this was worth waiting for. I really want to take a risk leap of faith. You get some kind of confirmation here. And you're like, wow, I want to make the effort. So like you're in a place of enjoyment, really enjoying yourself here because you're just finding out some great information. Okay, so let's keep going here. So you find out the truth, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy about this wanting for loyalty and devotion. And there's a lot of emotions welling up here on the ninth. Okay, let's keep going. And apparently a lot of passion welling up too. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's go down the layer on this, Gemini. Let's see. We use my deck. All right, what's got my Gemini Dramatic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, there's, uh, there's strong regrets here. There's a person around this wants to heal this connection. There's a lot of soul searching going on. Somebody is single and available to pursue. This is what you've been waiting for, Gemini. This is what you've been waiting for. Three of Wands energy. We see sister, daughter, friend, karmic around this. Okay, let's keep going. And someone you really want. Nine of Cups energy. Okay. And there is this concern about Hmm. It's like you can't tell somebody. 
It's like you can't tell somebody around this. Uh, like a sister, some younger energy, you can't tell them about this ex-partner. So this involves your ex-partner. Okay, let's keep going. So there's a secret here, High Priestess card energy. And this concern of a loss of secrets. So it's like, like the secret's gonna come out. Like you're trying to keep things on the wraps and you're afraid the secret's gonna come out. Okay, or somebody is. They wanna keep it secret. They don't want somebody to know that there's an achievement here. Because you want people to stay in a state of confusion or the person you're dealing with wants this people to stay in a state of confusion about this. Hmm, interesting. So you got this great stuff happening in your romantic love life, but it's like somebody around this wants to keep it under wraps. They don't want the family to know. They don't want a sister to know, something like that. And so they're trying to keep it like secret because there's a legal situation around this. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. And this concern about somebody feeling like they're being used um, or someone's trying to help with the situation. Okay. We see there's a spiritual understanding, destiny, and a soulmate around this. Okay. Okay, well, Gemini, let's see. So far, let's wrap it together here. All right, so Gemini, I feel bad about what happened. I want to fix this. I've been doing a lot of soul searching. Uh, I am single and available to pursue. We see there's this ex-partner in a state of confusion around this relationship. So it's almost like, um, you know, there's, there, there's this legal situation that happened. There are, there are available, but maybe there's some complexities around this situation. They're trying to keep things under wraps till everything is kind of wrapped up with this, whatever this legal situation is. Okay, so let's see how your love interest feels about you. Um, they feel like you're avoiding your emotions, Gemini, or you walked away. Uh, they feel like they want you to defend a position when it comes to these other people, or they want to defend their position when it comes to these other people, with, when it comes to you. It looks like they really want to speak with you with the King of Swords energy. So we see something about this divine timing or it needing to be the right time for a good outcome here. So, and let's see the overall energy. Okay, so there's a marriage around this, Hierophant, and we see a waiting around for things to play out and a patient energy around this. And we see there is this renewal of this past energy, Six of Cups energy. I'm gonna go down another layer. All right, I feel foolish about this. I wanna be with you. I wanna make some strong power moves. And we see something about a wife or commitment around this. I wanna heal this situation because I deeply love you. And I want to spend some alone time with you, okay? So a deep love wants to spend alone time with you and there's like trying to correlate a schedule around this, okay. But it seems like there's some complexities because there is some kind of legal situation, there's some other situation going on that's causing some issues around this, okay. But it does look like it's good, but it's just like, I want to keep this to myself, all right? That kind of energy until all this stuff is played out, that kind of energy is going on there, okay. And then also we can also go down a little further with this. Yep, strong chemistry and passion. Yep, we see something about a marriage, long-term commitment. Also, you could be moving forward with this person towards marriage, long-term commitment. Okay. All right, cautiousness, wanting to take a chance, seeing that there's some kind of spiritual confirmation, strong emotions, you're who I want, achieving something here and listening to intuition about it or something about destiny. Okay, so thoughts about this, thoughts and concern about being childish or something about starting a family, knowledge of loyalty and devotion. We see another person around this, could be a sister or a daughter, a friend, okay, a karmic uh, loss. And we see concerns about single available pursuit or using, juggling a decision, thoughts and plans about this family situation, speaking a truth, something you've been waiting for, keeping something secret about this legal situation. Okay, my beautiful Geminis, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're going to move now on to our Cancers. All right, we're on Cancer now. All right, Cancers, we're going to do the weekly, just like we always do the weeklies. All right, October 6th to the 12th. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. 
All right, what's got my cancer, Javancic Love Life? October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Cancers, let's take a look. All right, so we got October 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. This is your love interest feelings, block delays and challenges this week, eight of wands, and the overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, oh, someone finds you very sexy, attractive. Could be involving an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy around this. All right, things are happening so fast. That's part of the obstacles and blockage. Like, it's like, I feel like, like this is taking my breath away. I'm like caught up in the moment. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. You know, it's a whirlwind going on here. So there's something about this situation that you're deciding about ending on the 6th. All right, what's gonna happen my cancer? Romantic love life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out. One more time. Okay, so let's see, Cancers. All right, so yeah, there's something about this that could involve work, could involve a boss, could involve a job, uh, or somebody who, or a father around this, uh, or an uncle. Somebody really wants to make some strong power moves here, okay? towards this ending. Okay, so let's uh, keep it going and see more information here. All right, what's going on my Cancer Germans Love Life? October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Cancer, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like you want to assert your personal power to end this situation for a new beginning here. Okay, for some of you guys. Okay, let's, let's use this deck over here. What's gonna have my cancer romance of flight October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, cancer, let's take a look. All right, so yeah, there's some kind of spiritual factors, religious factors, tradition here. Something about traditions around this. There could be a child involved. We got a page of swords or you've gained new perspective and new understanding or this concern about like this constant immaturity here and wanting to fix the situation or heal the situation or being depressed about the situation. Okay, let's keep going. So you're trying to wait to see how things are gonna play out here. Okay, going further. Because there is somebody you really do love. It looks like you wanna communicate with this person or you're about to communicate with this person about love or this person is doing that with you. Yeah, you're connecting with somebody you feel like there's a divine connection here. Like, and this card here, whenever I see the, the soulmate card, the two of cups or the lovers, this can mean, yes, there's a relationship involved in the situation or you guys are coming in close proximity to somebody. And also this is the lovers card. So it's somebody you feel is a divine connection, okay? So I see that there is this gift an invitation or lots of appreciation on the on the eighth. Okay, let's get on the eighth. Okay, what's that about? Yeah, there's some communication going on here, some messages. Okay, more information here. Yep, hard to our conversations about this situation. So we see you feel that there's a divine connection here. And there's a conversation about love and a deep conversation about what to do. Um, I see that it's like um, you're going to have to assert your personal power. You've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out, and you're having communication with the person that you love. There's something secret around this, high priestess card energy, or you're listening to your intuition here, or you're getting some kind of spiritual messages here on the ninth. You're getting some kind of confirmation because it's like a sigh of relief for you guys. Like, this is, this is it. This is, the, this, is, this is what I've been waiting for, okay? This is what I've been waiting for, and that's good. And you're like feeling more resilient. You're like, okay, I can stick this out. I can, I can get this done. I know there's going to be an end point here, okay? When it comes to this past relationship. So, wow, it's very similar to Gemini's in the sense that there, uh, if you guys have any Gemini in your chart, you may want to check out the Gemini read because it's like some sneaky slide behavior. Somebody's not being completely honest about a marriage situation, all right? Sly slick energy around this marriage situation. Mm, okay, and 
we see a soulmate connection, divine connection here. Yeah, someone's not being completely honest, like, uh, like what's really going on beneath the surface. Like, I want to connect with my twin flame kind of energy, right? I want to connect with my divine counterpart kind of energy, but I don't want to talk to this other person about what I what my plans are. That's what I see, okay? So there's a lot of soul searching going on here, hermit card energy. And some advice being given here on the 11th. Or counseling, too. Could be counseling for some of you guys. Uh, or even legal advice, you know, it could be a lawyer, could be an accountant, okay? Somebody that you're getting some kind of advice about or for this situation, okay? What's this about? And there's a lot of emotions at play when it comes to this situation, okay? So a lot of emotions are coming up because um, you're, you know, you're moving past this X energy, right? You're, you're moving past it. So um, what's the final card here for you guys? You're going to defend your position when it comes to your family, your friends, all right, what you want to do. You're going to stand your ground. And it looks like there's going to be a meeting taking place here. Uh, because of these distractions, this confusion here, hmm, you're going to be revealing some stuff, it looks like, on this day of the 12th. Or the, these people are going to find out the truth on this day. <laughs> okay. So... You guys are deciding, and you know, I've been reading for you guys for a while, and I'm looking at your monthlies, and it looks like there was some kind of changes going on here, so it's interesting to see the, the more details about this situation. So I know it's been going on for a minute here. Okay, so yeah, definitely would like to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting week for you guys. This is like, stand your ground, you're going for what you want, and you're moving forward with your love interest here that you feel like it's a divinely guided situation. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? They feel like you're strong, you're taking a leadership role. We see there could be a father around this or a masculine energy. We see very strong chemistry and passion and a, a surprise about this potential opportunity offer, okay? And we see things are moving fast, all right? They're moving along fast this week. So it looks like you're juggling a decision, two of pentacles energy, a heavy decision about what to do. I gotta make a decision, I gotta make a choice. This is a blessing, it's time, right? But you're proceeding with caution. Obviously, you're like, okay, I know I gotta do it. I, I can see the signs now. I got the spiritual confirmation. Because what do I always tell cancers? Like you, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, you guys, you got very good intuition. Very good intuition. Um, one of my very good friends is a Cancer rising. Very good intuition, okay? And uh, yes, so I'm not surprised you're getting spiritual confirmation on this. Okay, so this is, this is your confirmation this week that there's a divinely guided connection and you're finally about to make that decision and you're moving forward with it. <laughs> okay, because you're like, this is a blessing. It is time. I can have a good outcome. Okay, I'm moving forward. <laughs> All right, so let me move this out of the way. Yep, asserting your personal power. We see com confirmation, we see messages, twin flame, emotional, and we see dealing with these distractions, power moves, healing a situation, receiving some kind of appreciation, gift or an invitation. We see a marriage situation, advice being gotten about it, and we see a meeting taking place. An ending of the situation, we see possibly a child around this, or naivete, or a fresh start, new opportunity, or like seeing it from a new way, a new perspective. When it comes to this divine connection, you get spiritual confirmation. The sly slick energy, maybe you're not being completely honest at first, you do some soul searching, you decide to defend your position. Or maybe your person is, okay? So you have to take it as it resonates. So my beautiful cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our Leos. We're on Leo now. All right, Leo, we're gonna do it the same way we always do our weeklies, okay? It's going to be the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the block slays, and challenges. Okay, so let's move into this October 6th to the 12th. Let's jump right in. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what is going to happen with my Leo's romantic love life? October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so Leo, we got October 6th, we got October 7th, we got October 8th, we got October 9th, we got October 10th, 11th, and 12th. 
Love interest feelings? Oh, Lord. Okay, let's, uh, let's make sure we get that in the camera there. Okay. Moving that over. Okay, love interest feelings. Block delays and challenges. And overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, magician card saying, you're my ideal partner, you're the one. Ooh, is somebody gonna show up at your house? There's something about moving from a house, something about a house here, home, a celebration, a party. Uh, but m most times you see this in person readings as a house or home or building. Okay, so what's that about? Okay, so wow, you're not the only sign connecting with your, your divine counterpart here. And that's gonna be on the sixth. Uh, you're, you're definitely having some uh, time with them, okay, on this. You're, you're in close proximity to this person. All right, or there's something about a relationship forming for some of you guys with a divine counterpart. All right, what's gonna happen uh, with Leo Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leo, let's find out. All right, so there's some kind of self-doubt. There could be uh, competition, feminine energy. Okay, let's keep going. Some issues around this feminine, karmic. What's going on by Leo's Rants and Glove Life, October 6th or 12th? Show my cards you see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. There's somebody you feel like, wow, this is, this is a, a really divine connection. You know, it's meant to be. I have a sense of direction around that. Okay. Let's keep going. What's going to happen my Leo's Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yep, this person is like, this could be the one. This is the one, okay? I told you, like, see in the bottom of the deck? It's like the Magician card's coming out. This is the card of, this could be the one. This is somebody you've been waiting for. And there was this concern about a loss of commitment, possibly with the Knight of Wands there, or because somebody was being a player, and it caused some kind of confusion. Okay, so what is going on with the Seven of Swords today? Literally, it was in Gemini's reading, it was in Kansas reading, now it's in yours, Leo. Sneaky slot energy going on here on the 7th. Somebody could be spying you, watching from afar. Uh, concerns, okay, so lying deceptions ends. Somebody wasn't telling the truth about an ending. Hmm. Okay. You get some kind of confirmation, letter, message, document, paperwork. About something about a marriage. Okay, there's a waiting around here on the 8th to see how things play out. And there's a lot of regrets here about the situation. So if someone feels bad, regretful, okay. There is a lot of emotions at place. There's overwhelming amount of emotions. We see something about, actually let's make sure we go to the next card down. Okay. Letting go of control around this. Okay, so letting go of control around this. Uh, you could be the one I would marry. I need to just surrender to this. I got confirmation. There's so much potential between us, and I have strong feelings for you. Hmm. Uh, there's this issue around self-doubt and worry and sleepless nights when it comes to some kind of commitment. Okay, let's keep going. I see that there is this energy of, yeah, divine connection here. You see that? A divine connection. You're like my other half. I want to bring things into balance. And it looks like maybe take a vacation or honeymoon. Or there's like soul searching, thinking about the situation. Surrendering control, taking a break, thinking about things, enjoying a holiday, going on vacation, and worried and concerned about this. So some of you guys are going on vacation or someone's going on vacation somewhere. Okay, so let's keep going here on the 10th. So there's actions of love being taken here with the Knight of Cups energy. So someone's taking some strong 
romantic actions towards you on the 10th, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And again, we see that there could be an infringing masculine energy, another person around this, okay, or self-doubt. That could be self-doubt too, okay? And I see some kind of spiritual sign understanding. So if you guys pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the signs, there's going to be some kind of definitive sign about this person. Okay, uh, that you could also see this person as competition, okay, and taking these romantic gestures or their competition to the other person that you could be dealing with. Mm, there is true love here. Okay, so there is, there's somebody around you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy has deep love for you, Leo. Okay, so let's, let's bring it together so far. This could be the one. We see marriage around this situation. I want to let go of control issues. I want to go on vacation with you. You're my true love. Okay. Or there's some talk about honeymoon here. Okay. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, very sexy, very attractive on the 11th, getting a lot of attention here with the Queen of Wands energy, uh, getting an invitation or some good news. And you feel like, yes, this changed for me. Okay. And we see a friend around this. I want to be more than just friends. I want to be more than just friends. You're my true love. I want to be more than just friends. Okay, let's see the final day here. So this person's like, I want to invest in this connection, Seven of Pentacles energy. And I really regret what happened. I can't believe I let you go. I want to take an action towards you. And now you're concerned because you feel like there's some kind of red flags around it. Ooh, so this is a complex situation coming in. Okay. Something about this house or home situation or moving, okay, or this building. Okay, so we're going to do the overall outcome in a second. Okay, so who, how did your love interest feel about you? So whoever this is, Leo, oh my goodness, they're deeply in love with you with that King of Cups energy. There's some kind of definitive decision, just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, some kind of legal decision around this. And we see money or uh, effort being put into that. Okay, so again, we see something that's part of the obstacle block, which is this house or home situation. So let's see now the overall outcome. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's somebody you feel has huge potential for the future long term. Okay, Ace of Pentacles energy. It's like I'm looking at this and it's like, this is the one. Yes, this is it. This is it. It's like a discovery of this because you're shocked and surprised about this. You have like a epiphany, like, wow, okay, this is a major change for me. This is one. But then we see there's something about a situation that comes in here towards the end of the week. It says somebody's like really regretful. They're like feeling bad. You know, I can't let you go. That's what's going on here. Okay. So I'm just going to go down a little layer here on this. Okay. This person wants to spend some alone time in your love interest. They feel like you're spiritually connected. And there's something about long-term commitment marriage. Okay, so we see uh, mother energy or someone's advice around this. Yeah, you're in celebration mode. They're like enjoying yourself. And hopeful energy, star card energy about this surprise. So you're really happy about this surprise. Now I can see this another way as well, that maybe there was a marriage or something. Someone's coming out of a marriage and they have regrets with picking the wrong person. They're realizing you're the one, you're my true love. I want to move forward with this. I want to be more than just friends. Okay, so there's actions being taken, but there's this concern about this red flags because possibly there's still a marriage around this for some of you guys. Okay, so I can see it that way too as well. You guys can let me know in the comments below. All right, the Pacifics on this. Not the Pacifics, Pacifics. <laughs> You guys think I keep saying Pacific. I know the difference. <laughs> and you comment in the comments. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's keep going. Okay, ending of these regrets. Uh, when it comes to this commitment, we see this infringing party. News, good news about this regrets about the past. Divine connection. Someone was being honest about healing the situation. Had worries and doubts of this romance. And we see sexy energy. And we see patience and waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Seven of Pentacles energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. All right, now we're moving on. And by the way, Leo, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can check your sun, moon, rising sign for more information. 
All right, my beautiful darlings, uh, let's jump to our Virgos now. All right, my beautiful Virgos, how are you guys doing? We're gonna do our weeklies like we always do our weeklies. So day to day, love injuries, feelings, blocks, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both right in. All right, what's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life? October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Virgos, let's take a look here. All right, so this is going to be October 6th, 7th, and 8th. Let's like sure we get the cards over here. Okay. Love interest feelings. Block of and challenges this week. And overall outcome. All right, let's take a look here. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Somebody is trying to get some passionate fun with you with the Knight of Wands energy <laughs> or impulsiveness. <laughs> Although it's interesting because there's either a work situation going on here is the obstacle or blockage or some kind of collaboration with another person. Okay, what's up with that? Okay, let's come to the first day here. All right, so uh, on the six, someone is in deep regret here. They can't let go of the past. They're feeling bad about this situation. I mean, there's a lot to celebrate, but it's like, I still can't let this go. I don't know how I can move forward. Okay, that kind of energy. Okay, so let's have my Virgo's romantic love life, October 6th to the 12th. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's something about this travel or this moving. Okay, also could be passionate too. <laughs> okay, um, with that card coming out. Let's keep going. Let's go to my Virgo's Romantic Love Live, October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so there's some kind of communication coming in. Um, and there's travel or moving, and we see some form of regrets about it. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's use this deck. What's going to happen at my Virgo's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. Yeah, there's someone who's really upset and they're communicating with you, Virgo. Could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo around this or it's somebody you have very, very strong chemistry and passion with, okay? With that King of Wands energy coming out, okay? It looks like there's advice being given here or counseling Okay, or legal advice here for some of you guys. Okay, let's keep going. And we see there's some kind of a letter, message, document, paperwork, communication. Yep, very strong chemistry and passion. Okay, so, hmm, interesting. So we see communication and something comes to light about this chemistry and passion here. Okay, so you're really happy here on the 8th. Um, you're living in the moment, you're enjoying yourself here on the 8th. We see there's a letter, message, document, communication, paperwork. Okay, something, some written communication here, text messages. And it's really hopeful, star card energy. And there's something about uh, some kind of differences when it comes to money and finance here. Okay, so someone feels really hurt. They have very strong chemistry and passion. I get the sense that there's some kind of work situation around this, okay? Cause that, uh, and there's this issue here. It's like someone really, there's a real strong chemistry and passion. It's like, oh my God, I don't, I don't, you know? And I feel like you guys are kind of like focusing on yourself here on the ninth. Isn't that interesting? Nine of pentacles and on the ninth. Um, focusing on yourself on the ninth or there's this understanding of like, I'm single and available to pursue or somebody's single available to pursue. So it's like, I'm gonna have a good time. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Like you guys are going out, having a good time here on the ninth. Um, let's keep going. And you're getting some, uh, you're feeling really hopeful about your romantic love life actually with star card energy. Um, and interesting uh, because there's this, this concern about sabotaging a situation. I messed up. There was a strong chemistry and passion. 
a work situation and this concern about sabotaging or messing something up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's uh, keep going here, Virgo. Okay. What's going on? King of Cups around this. Deep love for you. So we have this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy around this situation. Okay. And we see good outcome here on the 10th. Timing is good. Divine timing. Blessings here. Good timing for you guys. Yeah, abundance. So good energy here on the 10th. And so it seems like there's somebody around this that feels neglected. Because there is two, two different energies here. There's an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and there's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy around it. So di very distinct energies. Two distinct energies here. Okay, um, so let's keep going. So there, for some of you guys, there must be like a legal situation going on because there's multiple signs with this going on here. Okay, justice talks about just choice, just decision. Okay, marriage, divorce. Okay, or there could be a justified decision going on here on the 11th. Yeah, well, there is something mar around marriage around this. Okay, some kind of legal decision in marriage here on the 11th. And this concern about going around in circles and repeating the same patterns. Mm, someone's triggered in their ego. Okay, so far, what do we see here? We see, Virgo, that somebody realizes, like, like I, mess, I messed up, I don't know how to fix this. There's a strong chemistry and passion. We see this work situation here, and somebody who feels like they sabotaged something because they neglected the situation, they were triggered in their ego. Okay, so let's keep it going here. Someone is so heartbroken and sad. Look at that. I hear the Knight of Wands kind of energy going on here. And there you can see the overall energy is something about this passionate action here. And someone who's reacting to it because of some kind of communication coming in about this travel or this, uh, this can represent a car, a travel situation, and an avoidance, and trying to apologize or reconcile. And I see there's a major change here and an upset energy. So it's like, I'm heartbroken, I'm sad about some kind of commitment. And we see, uh, looks like you guys are looking at your choices, your options, and you're hopeful, star card energy. Or you're socializing with someone. Okay, so I feel messed up about this situation, the strong chemistry and passion. I feel like there's a sabotage and neglecting and ego and hopeful energy. There's communication, something comes to light that's hopeful. We see there's a spiritual connection, an abundance, but it concerns about going around in circles when it comes to people around this. Travel, movement change, advice about this communication, celebration, having a good time, good outcome. We see a marriage around this and some kind of long-term commitment. And I see, I feel bad. We see Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and enjoying the moment and, and having fun. And we see focusing on myself, single and available to pursue, strong chemistry and passion, making a decision because of heartache and sadness. Okay. How does your love interest feel about you? They're in a state of confusion, actually, Virgo. And they really want to hold on to you because they do feel like you fulfilled their desires. Now, we see that the... There could be more than one person around this or a work-related situation here as part of the obstacle or blockage here. Because you can see two distinct energies, okay? They're both kings too, which is good. So it's like, they're both like, all right, I really have strong chemistry and passion for you. And wow, I really love you a lot. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So we got this energy of somebody who feels that they've been going around in circles. And now there's a, I, who do I give my heart to? Okay, that kind of energy. and there's like a secret about it. It's like, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like anything's decided here by the end of the week, actually. It's like being kept secret or someone's paying attention to some kind of spiritual signs or they'll listen to uh, their intuition around this. Okay, I'm gonna go a little further here, Virgo. Let's just see. Give me more information about the overall energy for Virgo, what's gonna happen here with Love by October 6th to the 12th. Show me the cards you need. Three. Show me the cards you need. Two. Three. Yeah, there's there's this situation like I feel bad. I have a sense of regret. Should I take a risk leap of faith? 
because this is going to be a major change. Mm -hmm. You get some kind of communication, and there's a strong chemistry and passion, and there is this, hmm, there could be a proposal, an offer being presented here that something that you want. Uh, wow, okay, so this could lead to some kind of long-term commitment here, but obviously there's two energies here, so you haven't made any decisions as of yet, but obviously the other person you're dealing with, you may feel that, oh, okay, if, I, if I stay with this person, I just keep going around in circles with this person. This person, I kind of know where it's gonna go, but this other person here, you know, there's real strong chemistry and passion. Maybe this could, you know, lead to something here. So, because you do have options. So it doesn't look like you make any choice though. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're going to move on to our Libras. Hello, my beautiful Libras. We're going to be doing your weeklies, October 6th to the 12th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And we're going to do your weeklies like we always do your weeklies, so no worries. All right, so let's jump right in. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so it's going to have my Libras, Romantic, Love Life, October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to Okay, so let's find out, Libras. All right, this is going to be the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th. This is your love interest feelings. This is the block slays and challenges, and this is the overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, somebody's coming in to apologize. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Let me just shuffle these other decks here. What's gonna have my Libra's romantic love life October 6th to the 12th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out. All right, so I see that the blockage or obstacle for you guys is, I need to think about this. I need to do some soul searching here. The first day here, it's like there's some kind of advice being gotten or there's a mother energy around this or somebody who is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. There is a, a lot of sadness here uh, about this situation on the 6th. And let's keep going. Move this over here. What's gonna have my Libra's romantic love life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. C. All right, Libras, let's take a look here. All right, so someone's taking an action towards you because they feel really sad because they, they took someone's advice. All right, let's keep going here. Um, let's use let's use the uh, this deck over here. What's gonna have my Libras romantic love life October sixth and twelfth? Show my cards you see. Show me the cards I need. Two. C. Okay. Wow, there's marriage or a long-term commitment here and an action being taken because someone has given some advice. There's some type of collaboration here or work situation going on on the 7th. Yeah, like some kind of party celebration. This is like my going out, having a good time, going to a restaurant card. And it's a major change here, shock and surprise. Because it's like, I'm ready to give this relationship a chance. What? Is this like an engagement party or something here? What's going on? Okay, so we got marriage around this. Hierophant. There's a lot of signs this, this, uh, this week are dealing with this. Okay. Hierophant, marriage, happy energy, joyful energy. L lots of emotions here. Trusting in the process. Okay. Trying to trust this. Okay, so... Towards Virgo Capricorn energy on the ninth, it seems like there's going to be some. Let's take things slow. Let's slow things down. I, I'm, I'm presenting this offer. I want to move forward, but I want to. I want to. I want to do this slowly. We see something about this house or home situation taking place on the ninth or this building. So actions are being taken. Serious actions are being taken here towards a house or home situation. Yep, this is a abundance. Lots of concerns about red flags. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, so now you're like, wait a minute. 
Now you want to take things slow? <laughs> what? Oh, now you're feeling like there's something up with this. There's something up with this. Let me just tune in here. Let me just see more information about this. Yeah, someone said, they said, don't worry about this. <laughs> really? Don't worry? You want to take it slow? You don't want me to worry? <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, now there's some juggling going on here. Two of Pentacles energy on the 10th. What's this juggling about? About this money and finance situation. It's going to be a good outcome, though. Luck is on your side with the uh, luck card energy. And it looks like they're going to bring an apology in about this trying to fix their schedule or this kind of like energy of like trying to bring things into balance, not sh unsure, like juggling you to a pentacles energy. So we see a marriage and giving a relationship a chance. And there could be a lack of trust because there's this concerns about this red flags and somebody is apologizing to you. Okay, now let's see what's going on on the 11th here. What? Seven of Swords is coming out? What is up with this card? I've seen this card in multiple readings too. So if you guys know your sun, moon, rising sign, just check the other signs because I'm telling you, there's a lot of similarities here. Okay. I wasn't being honest with you. I'm doing something sly or slick. Maybe I'm spying. There's somebody could be spying on you. They're, they're depressed. They're upset about the situation. Uh, they want to assert their personal power here because there's this concern. I don't want to keep going around in circles. I want to free myself from the situation. I want to move forward. Okay, um, hmm, let me go down another layer here. This is, this is a strange reading. Okay. What's going by Libra Germanic 5, October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on another layer here, Libra? Okay, so major changes coming in this week. Strong chemistry and passion with this person. Someone who has strong regrets. We see communication. And this concern about a secret. And something vague between the lines that they're not saying. Okay, so you discover something about a potential offer, opportunity of passion, Ace of Wands. We see a very attractive energy. You guys are looking very attractive, very um, good looking, beautiful, attractive, sexy. All right, don't, guys, don't come to me in the comments. You, is this only for girls? Okay, no, it's for both, it's for both. And a lot of reflecting on the situation. Strong chemistry and passion with somebody. So there could be a new, I know with all this stuff going on, there could be a new situation coming in here on the 12th, a discovery of this potential new passionate situation here. Um, let's see what that's about. Yeah, we see something about a relationship, a commitment. Hmm. Changes. We see strong chemistry and passion. Feeling bad about a situation. Communication. Secret crush. Between the lines, there's something about a relationship around this. Okay. We see commitment to giving a relationship a chance, but there's a lack of trust because there's red flags. We see some kind of reconciliation and concerns about going around in circles when it comes to this chemistry and passion with this person. Actions, shock and surprise about the strong emotions and abundance of good luck. And it looks like someone's decided to assert their uh, power here because they've been reflecting on the situation. Okay, going further. Sadness, celebration, having a good time at this house. We see this money situation and wanting to heal this and give you a lot of attention. So it looks like someone's trying to buy your affections here because of this juggling of the schedule. Uh, mother, older sister, aunt, someone's giving advice about this collaboration, this marriage, slow walking, and heavy decision that has to be made. I don't know if I can be honest because there's another opportunity offer. So I feel like you guys also have another opportunity offer and maybe you're the guy, you're the people that are slowing things down with the situation. How does your love interest feel about you? They feel, because you're doing the soul searching here as what's going on is the obstacle or blockage. You're a person who you're in love with uh, is reminiscing about the past and they do see you as the one. They may want to have a child with you or they see things now from a new way and a new perspective with the child card energy. 
So let's see the overall energy here. So you're ending a tough cycle, Ten of Swords. And there is definitely a lot of optimistic hope for your romantic love life. And there could be a new potential love connection. Good news and love. Page of Cups energy. Yeah, looks like you guys have a choice coming up here. Looks like you're dealing with somebody. You have a choice between two different people. And you have this discovery about this new situation. And there's this concern about going on around the circles with this other person. So it's like, I need to make a decision. I need to slow things down. Uh, there was a Taurus Virgo Capricorn around this. Um, and looks like and we saw the ending card was the Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're moving on to our Scorpios. We're on Scorpio now. All right, hello, my beautiful Scorpios. We're going to be doing your day today, your love interest feelings, the blocks, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome for October 6th to the 12th for your weeklies. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's get right in. All right. So what is going to happen with my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right. So we got October 6th, October 7th. October 8th, October 9th, October 10th, October 11th, and October 12th. This is your love interest villains. Blocks, delays, and challenges in Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Overall energy is, we oh, are stuck in the middle of a situation there this week. Because something that uh, around this is somebody that you want. But there, you, could, you guys could have to work or something here. Eight of Pentacles energy is coming out. So work could be playing a factor around this. Okay, so you got this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, strong chemistry and passion for someone. What is up with this card today? I guess because we were getting close to Halloween, I guess. <laughs> you got the sneaky sly card coming out. <laughs> it's like this, seriously, guys, just go check out Sun, moon, rising sign. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, seven of swords again. So, okay, so seven of swords. I know a lot of readers. I've seen a lot of readers over the years say, page of swords, it's spying card. No, seven of swords, spying card. So there could be somebody spying on you on the sixth. There, there's something that's sneaky, sneaky sly going on, okay? Let's see what the sneaky sly stuff is. All right, what's going to happen to my Scorpios around the love life, October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's find out, Scorpio, what's going on? So there seems to be like, I need to proceed with caution. Okay. Okay, why do you need to proceed with caution? What's going on? What's going to have my Scorpio's Romantic Life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's that about? So there's a lot of reflecting going on here, a lot of thinking, um, contemplation, trying to be cautious, concerns about something, some dishonesty, or how do I say this to this person kind of energy? Okay. Let's use my deck. I'd like to get drill down a little further here. Let's have my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life, October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what's going on? Why someone's apologizing, reconciling? So, wow. So someone on the 7th is feeling like I messed up. I messed up something when it came to a long-term commitment. Okay. Okay, what's this about? We see something about work or finances and this concern about opportunity or offer a new love. Okay, so we see this apology coming in, judgment card energy. So some of you guys may have a huge potential for new love or renewed love for some of you guys or a true love here. 
and there's an apology, reconciliation here around this. I see that there's some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork, communication. And something about this travel situation. Yep, we get this letter, message, document, communication, this travel situation. I'm gonna go down one more layer here, Scorpio. All right, so what's gonna happen, Scorpio? It's a classic love life, October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This is involving an ex-lover. And some sly, slick energy, someone's concealing some stuff so they can take a risk. What is going on with the signs this week? Oh my goodness. This is not the only, this is not the only one. Gemini had some strange stuff like that going on. Cancer had some strange stuff like that going on. Leo did too. Uh, there was multiple signs around like st stuff like this. Well, technically we did get through the lunar eclipse and then solar eclipse, right? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's keep going. Full card could be a uh, fresh start, new opportunity, or someone new on the 9th, or you're feeling like there's a potential for someone new, or maybe you, or you wanna go off with someone new here. Um, there's advice being gotten here on the 9th. Okay, let's go further. Going down the layer here, I don't wanna give up on us. We see there could be a good outcome here but there seems to be this self-doubt or worry. So there's somebody from before and someone wasn't being honest about taking the risk because of their worries and concerns. So it's like almost so you can find out. And so they pick someone else, maybe a new person, but then they find out I messed up. I feel like they were, they, they're, you're gonna find out Scorpio that they messed up because they thought that you weren't interested in them. Oh my goodness, okay, so there's like a lot of self-doubt here or something. Um, worries, concerns, self-doubt about this knowledge, book card energy. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, it wouldn't be a Scorpio reading if you guys didn't get, you always get the tower. Major shock and surprise here, write this out, the 10th, on the 10th. Some major change, some shock and surprise here on the 10th about some kind of family conflict around this. Oh my goodness, because of this apology, this reconciliation. <gasps> so did the family convince this person to go with somebody else? And then they find out the truth about what's going on with you and they were afraid to take this risk because of the family situation and you're finding out that they went off with someone new? Oh my goodness, and then they're apologizing, trying to reconcile here. Look at this. There's a defending of a position here against these other people in the Seven of Wands energy. Because this energy of like, my hands are tied, I feel trapped in this situation. And so there's an assertion of per personal power here. Cause this person's like, I'm missing you, I'm longing for you. I'm missing you, I'm longing for you. And it's like, there's a secret here around this. What is going on? This is a weird week, okay. There is a lot of this stuff going on this week. Mm. I'm gonna have to look up at the astrology, what's going on this week, what is going on this week? So there's a collaboration here on the 12th. More than one person around this. A work-related situation, a collaboration, more than one person, so well, someone's collaborating here to get your attention. So, so let me get this straight. So they feel like they sabotaged the connection, they messed up, they are aware, maybe they didn't feel like you were telling them the truth about some stuff, but then they found out otherwise, and now they wanna take a risk, a leap of faith, but now they have worries and concerns about this reconciliation, and they're utilizing another person to help them get your attention to help fix this. Wow, okay. All right, we see spiritual signs. You guys know, I know you guys are very intuitive. So obviously you're gonna get some signs there about wanting to heal this situation. And we see there's divine timing here. It's divine connection around this. Okay, 
We see ex-partner, wasn't being completely honest about taking the risk because of their fear. We see apology about this secret crush and the divine timing around this, okay. Apology about this new love and this communication. And we see this blessing, good outcome for you guys when it comes to this family conflict because this person is missing you and wants to heal the situation. So there's reflecting all about this work situation and people or this travel and not wanting to give up and shock and surprise in this assertion of this personal power because of this spiritual connection, this divine connection. Defending a position when it comes to a commitment with a communication letter message document and advice and knowledge of this trapped energy and finding you very attractive, wanting to get your attention kind of energy. Wasn't being honest about the sabotage and messing up an apology for this new situation and lots of self-doubt, wanting to defend the position and collaborating with another person around it. <laughs> Imagine that, like, like you mess up, you go this way, then you're collaborating with other people around this. What the heck? Okay, how does your love interest feel about you? We see that they feel like their hands are tied and they want long-term happiness with you. There could be a mother, aunt, older sister around this that's giving some advice about how, I wonder if this is the same person for you guys, Scorpio. Cause the obstacle or blockage is some of you have very strong chemistry and passion and we see an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and we see this love connection is this advice from this person that caused this trapped energy because if you mirror it or they may be trying to help them get out of this trap situation that they, they put themselves in. Sometimes there are, are people that will uh, put themselves in a situation, put themselves in a box, they don't know how to get out of it. And so it's like, all right, I'm on the inside. You're on the outside, help me out. <laughs> okay, that's what it looks like there, okay? So the overall outcome is I feel bad about what happened. And I don't know how you're gonna forgive me about these indecisions. But the star card shows something hopeful hopeful signs, optimistic. Some of you guys, this could be a twin flame energy and they want your attention and they want to accomplish something, want to travel to you. We see something about divine timing around this and we see Page of Cups good news when it comes to love and someone from before and we see a spiritual connection or something spiritual around this. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, wow, what a reading. Okay, <laughs> wow. And it's, it's interesting because you're not the only sign this week that's it's definitely, there's a lot of strangeness going on with all the signs actually, for the most part, not all of them, but most of them um, so far. If you guys are cross watching, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's move on to our Sagittarius now. All right, Sagittarius, we're gonna be looking at your weeklies. We're gonna look at your October 6th to the 12th, your day to day, your love interest feelings the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to be my Sagittarius' romantic love life for October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, that's right. Someone was asking about the name of the cards. I'll, I'll put up, I'll, I'll link it in the video. Um, yes, I know Halloween's coming up, so. All right, October 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. All right, love interest feelings, blockage delays and challenges, and overall outcome Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, lots of soul searching going on here. Possibly about a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. There seems to be a lot of signs this week that have, are dealing with two different signs. Okay, so let's also um, shuffle the next deck here and let's take a look at the, the obstacle or blockage. So the obstacle or blockage for you guys this week is a lack of optimism or you could be getting some kind of um, profound signs this week but you're just not noticing it. You're not paying attention to it. So. Let's see, what's gonna have my Sagittarius' romance of love life October 6th to the 12th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
All right, so what do we got going on here? So there could be this work-related situation on the six, because for me, actually, eight of pentacles is more like money when I see it in personal readings, and, and three of pentacles is more like work. So some of you guys could have a work-related situation, or you have more than one choice with the three of pentacles energy, or someone's collaborating here in your romantic love life, because there's somebody who does want to be with you, okay? There is a strong presence here of this person around the workplace. All right, so what's going to my Sagittarius romantic love life, October 6th to 12th? Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Yeah, this is a work-related card too. Yeah, there's a work-related situation here. Okay. So it seems like you guys have a decision to make though, or you're trying to juggle your schedule here. Somebody's trying to juggle their schedule because they're interested in being devoted and loyal to you. And there are some indecisions. Okay, I gotta make a choice here. I gotta make a decision. Okay. So I'm gonna go down the layer on this. Let's use this deck. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Let's get my Sagittarius around to Globe Life October 6th to 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, it's a work situation because it's like, what do they always say <laughs> what, on jobs and stuff? It's like, it's only sexual harassment if you don't like the person. So it seems like it, it's, it's got to stay hidden because it's a work situation. Okay. But there's definitely a connection here, some kind of connection here. But there may be decisions about this, this twin flame connection, this soul contract, because of this work related. So it seems like you've got two situations, like a work situation, and then you got this divine connection that's leaving you at a crossroads. What do I do? Because there is somebody taking romantic gestures towards you on the 8th, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. They could be slightly younger than you. It doesn't have to be, but this is a younger energy. I see that someone wants to reunite with you. So they're taking actions of love to reunite with you. Okay. What's that about? Uh, I see they're going to have a hard to conversation with you on the 8th. Oh, uh, really? You think that they're a player? <laughs> oh, or they're playing you, manipulating you. That just seems to be, I, I've been reading for you guys for a while. I, I, I I understand what's going on here with the situation. There's this concern about this person being a little bit slow, slick. Uh-huh. And not being completely honest here. Okay. Because of this legal situation going on. Another theme that's going on in these readings. Marriage, divorce, just choice, just decision, or a definitive decision here. And needing something to change. Okay, going further. I want to be more than just friends. This is a temptation, a strong temptation for you guys. So whoever this person is, they, you feel like they're your soulmate and there's a lot of passion there and they're a very strong temptation for you. But you also got this work situation that, that's kind of hidden or you're trying to keep hidden um, and you're not sure what to do. Okay, so let's keep going here. Yep, you're at a crossroads. You're like, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what direction to go into here. There's this work, again, this is purchasing, buying, okay, indecisions. So kind of like a merchant, you know, like work kind of card. I want to fix and heal this situation. I need to listen to my intuition. I'm getting some kind of profound sign here about this situation. How can I be honest with this person, this twin flame, my divine connection? There's this concern about this manipulation and the strong temptation, but we're, just, we're spiritually connected. I want to fix this. I want to heal this. Okay, so this is a work friend here. And then you got this other person that could be dealing with a legal situation or marriage or something or divorce here. Okay, so there's something you've been waiting here for on the 11th. Uh, I see you're going to be having a good time. You're going out. You're socializing there. Okay, let's keep going. And then there's going to be a major shock and surprise. Wow, what is going on around this date here? Okay, 10th to 11th, there's an interesting stuff going on. Major changes happening for you guys here around the 10th to the 11th. Okay, going further on this. 
You're going to be shocked and surprised about this legal situation. Okay, we got to go down the layer, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm going to look at the Kipper. What's going to buy Sagittarius is Rancid Love Life, October 6th to 12th. Show my cards, you see. Show my cards, now. Two, see. What do you mean you got this major change? What's going on here? Okay, so this concern about losing you and this being over, I see a person around this giving advice or trying to make the wise decision on the long term. Yep, someone sees you as a main person. There's this concern about sad news, but then jackpots. Jackpots. A positive turn of events towards marriage commitment long term. Something you've been waiting for. Oh, Sagittarius. It's all so abrupt and sudden. Yeah, you see the signs about this person and, and this concern about feeling the sense of despair around this connection. All right, let's, we're going to go to the overall outcome in a second here. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? They want to make some, they got plans. They want things routine. They want order and structure. They want to take things slow to the long term, and they want to speak to you about this. So someone isn't paying attention to their intuition or paying attention to the signs. That's the obstacle or blockage this week. It's also a major arcana, which means when you get a major arcana, it means something's beyond your control. So like, you know, like you see the, let's see here, that's a major arcana. Okay, we got this three of wands. That's the day to day. It's like a minor arcana. So, but if you see the major arcana, it means that the universe is saying, stepping in and saying, no, 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 no. Something has to change here. Okay, so you get some kind of good news about this family situation and them defending their position. Wow. So good news about this family situation, them defending their position against these other people. That's what the jackpot is the shock that they're actually moving forward with it. Okay. Well, that's an interesting read for this week. Okay. That's something to look forward to. Okay. Loss of an ending. Me, a uh, person here, another person here. And we see worries and concern, but then luck because of the sense of desperation. Slice like energy. We see a divine connection, manipulation, temptation, listening to the intuition when it comes to this legal situation and seeing spiritual signs. Okay, um, work or control of these indecisions, communication about friends and healing and shock and surprise about something that's gonna happen all of a sudden. I wanna be with you, loyalty and devotion. I wanna uh, reconcile this change. I was really foolish about this when it comes to these people and it's something you've been uh, waiting for. So you're finding out, yes, I was foolish about this collaboration and this juggling. I want to take actions of love towards the legal situation and these indecisions. Something you've been waiting for when it comes to long-term commitment and marriage. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarius, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Okay, confirm. Okay, confirm <laughs> in the comments below. All right, let me know uh, in the comments below. And yeah, let me know. Um, yeah, just, I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. All right, so if you guys like it this way, women can do this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're moving on to our Capricorn now. Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. We're going to be looking at your weekly love forecast horoscope for October 6th to the 12th. We're going to do this reading like we always do, the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do that. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Capricorns? Romantic Love Life, October 6th and 12th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorns, let's take a look. All right, so we got the 6th, the 7th, the 8th. Let's move this over. the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, and the 12th. And your love interest feelings? Blocks, delays, and challenges this week? Oh my goodness, really? Five of wands? 
So some type of argument, fight, frustration, or a lot of competition here around this, fighting to get your attention here. We'll have to clarify that. Overall outcome. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Some kind of secrets, something spiritual, heartache and sadness. You're the one. I don't want this to be over. When it comes to this house or home situation. Okay. So frustration, massive changes coming in here as the obstacle or blockage, or someone feels frustrated about something. So there's someone who's thinking about you here on the six. They have long-term plans. They can't get you off their mind. Wow, that's a really loud vehicle out there. And uh, that's a kind of like a Knight of Wands kind of energy. Like, let's get this going. Come on, let's get up the road. All right. What's going to be Capricorn, Germanic, Love Life, October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on here? So I can't stop thinking about you. I'm stuck in the middle. I feel complacent. Let's see if the gypsy, excuse me, the kipper. What's going to happen by um, Capricorn's Romantic Love Life, October 6th as well? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Something about a child around this, uh, somebody being childish, uh, wanting to start a family, naive. All right, what's going to have my Capricorn Germantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, something about this money situation. All right, so let's, let's take a look at this. So it's like, I have thoughts and plans, but I'm complacent and stuck in the middle because of this child and this money situation or a new situation, fresh start, new opportunity, and this concerns about money being a factor. I messed up. I don't know I'm going to miss this opportunity. I don't know if you'll accept what I have to offer here, Capricorn. I can't stop thinking about you. I have thoughts. I have plans. I'm your person, your main person. I have very strong chemistry and passion for you. It's all though, although I do feel like there is some kind of like, I don't want to get hurt. So someone's coming forth, trying to give you some kind of passionate situation here on the seventh. And then now there's a defensive energy like, wow, I don't want to get hurt here. There's a message you've been waiting for coming in. And it's a victory for you guys. Okay, let's see what that's about. Oh, it's to do with the commitment. Ring card energy. All right, so there was unbalanced money finance situation around this, but very strong chemistry and passion and a movement towards long-term commitment. Some of you guys are feeling stuck in the middle though. Like a stagnation, why? Because of some kind of, comp oh, there's another person around it. Family member, friend, competition, or infringing party of some sort, which is causing an argument or fight and making somebody feel defensive. Okay, let's go down another layer on this. Let's use Lenormand. What's gonna happen in my Capricorn, Germantic Glove of October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there is people around this, some kind of socializing. Something about a child could be involved with this situation or concerns about being naive or immature or young energy. We see you're, you're gonna receive some kind of gift or appreciation or invitation. It could be a gift of a ring for some of you guys and a victory. Um, it looks like there's this concern about an ending of this cautiousness and argument and fights with this other person. There's a family situation around this uh, on the 10th. And someone's like, oh my God, I, I can't believe this happened. I have so much regret about this house and home and family situation and these delays and challenges around this. But we see that there's gonna be some kind of positive changes. Or for some of you, this could be to do with fertility, pregnancy, okay. 
I know that's a very specific message, Capricorn. <laughs> but there's just too many cards here. Passion, child, right? And then we see this commitment and we see a gift. And we see this can be, Lenormand talks about this can literally be lying down, resting. <laughs> and then we got this stork card coming out. Could be talking about change of locations, all right? Or, you know, the stork brings home the babies. This delays of some things when it comes to house, home, and family around this, okay? So it's talking about we should delay this, you know, uh, because of this house, home, and this money situation. So it's like maybe a discussion going on about having children or starting a family or bringing families together or children together. Um, okay. More or less like if you, if you have a child, they have a child, you know. So there's this, a very um, giving energy here on the 11th. Very charitable, very giving towards a long-term commitment. So someone's like, I want to help you out. I want to do this for you. I want to be very giving. I want to be there for you. And we see something about this money situation. So a decision has to be made very soon about this work situation here, a sense of stability. Okay, so there's multiple people around this and we see child, fresh start, new opportunity, talking about starting a family, new situation, and we see appreciation, an ending of a situation when it comes to uh, change of locations or maybe fertility, pregnancy, and wanting something stable, needing something stable. Okay, so there's an offer being presented on the 12th, or there's somebody you see, oh, this is huge potential here, Ace of Pentacles energy. Uh, we see there's some alone time having, having some alone time with someone here, and somebody may be giving some advice, or this is another person around this. I want to make the effort, and we see there's this friendship. Hmm. So it's like there's more than one person around this. Let me see. Yep. More than one person. We see this new situation and giving is over if this change of location or change of job with this friend. Money, strong chemistry and passion, a commitment to being cautious, delays and challenges until a decision is made. I want to make an effort towards this connection. Now, it could be a younger main person, it could be a child around this, it could be a new person, we see main person, so it's maybe two different energies, we see a victory, and somebody's arguing, fighting about a house situation and work, and then we see another energy here. Could be a father, uncle, okay, someone is just trying to give some advice. I'm stuck in the middle, I have thoughts, and I've been waiting for this. We see this infringing party, party. Uh, family member, friend, or karmic, I regret the situation when it came to this commitment. I need to talk with you alone. I've been thinking about you. I don't want to miss this opportunity. And I'm cautious. I'm feel stuck in the middle when it comes to this family situation. Um, I'm being very giving and charitable because I know that there's so much potential between us. Okay, so there's this concern with the obstacle or blockage here that somebody's gonna be upset. So let's see how your love interest feels about you. We're gonna look at the overall energy, Capricorn. They love you. They see you as somebody that they wanna be with on the long term. They want something traditional here. Um, they also may wanna to travel to you or accomplish something here in a long-term commitment with the world card energy. So coming back to the obstacle or blockages, the five of wands, and let's see the overall energy here. So someone really wants to hold on to you, Capricorn. There's some kind of definitive legal situation going on, just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? Add a new potential opportunity or offer of passion, Ace of Wands. So yes, you got two situations going on. Somebody where there could be a, you could do some, you know, there could be a legal situation here or needing to make a definitive decision about a new potential person around you. Or do you hold on to the other person? You, you stay with the other person for Pentacles energy. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're moving on to our Aquarius. Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. We're now going to be looking at your weekly love forecast horoscope. We're going to do it like we always do, October 6th to the 12th. 
I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, let's jump right in. All right, what's going to have my Aquarius's romantic love life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look. So it's going to be October 6th, October 7th, October 8th. October 9th, October 10th, October 11th, and October 12th. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so this is your love interest feelings, block delays and challenges, and overall outcome. Bottom of the deck, looks like you're getting a lot of attention here, Aquarius. The obstacle or blockage though is like, hmm, I'm not trying to get hurt. I need to proceed with caution. I'm, I'm afraid to, to move forward. I got my guard up. Because in the sixth year, it's like there's something about an ending around the situation for a new beginning. Maybe you're concerned that someone needs to end a relationship or you want to end a relationship. We see this death card coming out. Let's see what this is about. So it's going to have my Aquarius's Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's find out here. Yeah, there's an ending of the situation when it comes to this house and home and family situation. What's going to have my Aquarius and Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Could be a fresh start, new opportunity, child energy around this, having a family, starting a family, okay? Something about a family situation. Okay, so what's gonna have my Aquarius Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there seems to be a lack of flexibility, some concerns about jealousy, um, and wanting to focus on a new person because of this ending of this house and home family situation. What's going to happen Aquarius is Romantic Love Life October 6th to 12th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look. Yeah, something, you're getting some kind of profound sign on this day. So listen to your intuition, pay attention to your dreams on the 6th here. So it looks like you are going out with somebody, spending time with somebody here on the 7th. And it's like a sigh of relief for you. And there's a gift. You may be getting a gift. Um, you may be receiving a lot of appreciation here with the gift card energy. Or someone's very giving, like, you know. And I see that there is some kind of knowledge book card energy. Also, let's make sure we put Lenormand down here. Yeah, someone's very, like, nurturing they're very like protective of you and you get some kind of knowledge of this situation with this person you find something out you're you feel like there's some unknowns or secrets around the situation with the book card energy so on the eighth here it seems like there's some kind of frustration that comes in about this friend so a friend gets upset about this good outcome for you guys this great timing and the socializing and hanging out huh and it's like there's this want to fix or heal this situation so someone's like upset about this hmm okay so we see there could be a child around this Gemini Libra Christ energy or um, this concern about being naive or seeing things from a whole new perspective because of this the situation that goes down here on the 8th. But I see that there's like this blessing, there's sense of divine timing around this. And there's some kind of two to three month expectation around this situation. And some positive changes here with the store card energy. But it seems like everything's happening all at once very fast, it's quick. 
and it's a real surprise. There seems to be this opportunity that's being presented. And it looks like you're getting some advice here around this. There's this concern about like sad news around a work or uh, a sense of stability and stableness. Oh wow, another sign that that's having the tower card here on the 10th. Some are getting it on the 10th, some are getting it on the 11th. Hmm, what's going on astrology wise here? I mean, I know we just went through the solar eclipse. Something here around the 10th, 11th, okay. Major changes, shock and surprise. So let's bring it together so far. What do we got here, Aquarius? I really feel like we're spiritually connected, but there's some unknowns. I have to be patient for things to come into balance. I don't want to rush into anything, or there's been this reaction that's going to happen because of this shock and surprise. Okay, look at that. My microphone's literally over here. That's. <laughs> Let me just put it back over here. Sorry if the sound sounds weird. Okay. So uh, there's this massive shock and surprise. You're my ideal partner. You're the one. What? There's massive changes here. Yeah, they're like, you're the one. Yeah, you're the one. <laughs> you're still feeling very cautious about it, though. Defensive. They're offering love to you. Ace of Cups energy. This is the message you've been waiting for. There's some power moves being made here. Highly emotional. Yes, they're sharing their feelings that they love you. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see how your love interest feels about you. Looks like they wanna flirt with you. Uh, there's some kind of concern about marriage or long-term commitment and them feeling stuck in the middle of a situation. It looks like your person or more or less the block stage and challenge is this defensiveness, cautiousness. All right, so we got this new situation, full card energy, or should I take a risk leap of faith? There's this concern like, wow, this is, this is great. It's a blessing, it's divine timing. It could be a good outcome here. And it's something you've been waiting for. Okay, let's go down a little layer on this. Okay, we see a commitment. Your person feels that there could be a commitment. They want to gain knowledge. They feel trapped in their thoughts. There's a defensiveness about an ending of a, another situation before coming forward. We see that there could be a sister, daughter, friend around this. And we see there's a celebration here about this gift, about this invitation, about this appreciation. So some of you guys are getting some kind of gift and it's an awareness, wow, this is timing, this is a good outcome, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay, we're gonna go down a layer here. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, it's all that spiritual understanding, okay. Okay. Okay, lack of flexibility, strong desires, jealousy about this control or this nurturing energy. We see people, positive changes, stuck stagnation or a stable situation, main person, a lot of emotions at play. Okay, and let's make sure that we So starting a family, child, um, fresh start, new opportunity, a gift. Timing is right. We see two, three months, sad news, but main person, you're my main person and I'm making power moves towards that. House, home, sigh of relief about this friend, divine timing, advice being given about this change and a message you've been waiting for. An ending of a situation for this relationship and a frustration about a child, fresh start, new opportunity, uh, immaturity, about a new potential passionate opportunity, you're the one and I wanna give you my heart. So there's two different opportunities or offers here and it seems like the one, the, there's a one person around this that seems like they're frustrated about this because this passionate one seems to be frustrated about it. Uh, but the one that you're going for is the one that, that you, you love the person you love that's offering their heart to you. Ace of Cups energy. 
Okay, my beautiful Aquariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're moving on to our Pisces. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. We're working on your weeklies here. We're going to be doing your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the black shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. It's going to be for October 6th to the 12th. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's get right in. All right, so what's going to buy Pisces Romance of Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here, Pisces. All right, so we got October 6th, October 7th, October 8th, October 9th, October 10th, October 11th, and October 12th. Let's see their, your love interest villains. All right, so I see that the obstacle or blockages, the sense of boredom, or this concern about missing an opportunity. There's somebody who's avoiding something here when it comes to success and happiness, but there's some good news around this. So there's an avoiding going on here trying to live in the moment. We see that there's some good news though about some kind of long-term commitment. Will you accept what I have to offer here? Or there's a sense of boredom what's being offered. Okay, so interesting. Spiritual energy coming in here, which I'm not surprised because I, you know, there was the lunar eclipse, the solar eclipse, and now we got a lot of these spiritual signs around this. Okay, so on the sixth, listen to your intuition. You may be getting some kind of sign. So what's gonna happen to my Pisces Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's somebody that has tremendous regret about what happened. What's gonna happen to my Pisces Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There's definitely someone who wants to connect with you on this day. They want to come very close to you, actually. All right, let's keep going. What's going to find Pisces Romantic Love Life October 6th to the 12th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It could be done in secret because High Priestess can represent secrets. So it looks like a decision is going to have to be made very soon. There's huge potential between you and the person. There could be a huge offer coming in. Because of an ending of another relationship. It looks like, uh, or an ending of a job situation is bringing an offer in. Because, you know, you can't really, um, at least I know when I was working in corporate America, it wasn't really uh, a good thing to work at the same job as the other person that you were dating. So <laughs> that's a possibility for some of you guys. Or there is some strong power moves here. Or there is a loss of uh, a fatherly figure around this. Okay, I know that's a very specific message, but um, that uh, maybe they were dealing with that uh, situation, you know. And, uh, and now that's kind of brought you closer to this person. Um, okay, so we see a healing energy here. So it looks like there's going to be some type of reaction here on the 8th. But this reaction is actually going to be because of this concern about going out and having a good time and just living in the moment and maybe doing some party in there. Okay, that kind of energy. So someone feels reactive about it. Uh, so let's keep going. It's to do with this house and home and family situation. And the concern about a new love around this. So making a decision, let's move it down here a little bit. I need to make a decision very soon. I wanna fix or heal the situation when it comes to a new love or a potential for love. So there's, there's again, there's this hopeful, optimistic sign, spiritual sign on the, the ninth. And this concern about competition. Oh, I see. So the emperor is coming out because that person wants control. And they're concerned about, they're jealous about other people around you. Mm -hmm. When it comes to this travel situation. 
And the, so they're going to talk with you about this. There's this, uh, this person really has like strong heartache and sadness here with the Three of Swords energy. And they're concerned about being foolish because they feel like there's like a, this great fortune in this connection and they want to move towards a long-term commitment. Yeah, it's, look at that. Another emperor kind of energy. It's like they want power and control around this situation here or this strong power moves or control around this on the 11th. So a message you've been waiting for and massive changes going further. Uh, this person is saying, I want to apologize to you for my behavior. Hmm. So there's a jealous energy here. Uh, let's keep going. Okay, so there could be a work situation, money situation going on here on the 12th. And it looks like going out, let me take you out to a restaurant, let's have a good time, let's, let's have fun together. Yep, there's unexpected value worth out of this situation because of this concerns about this isolation or separation. Okay, so very soon a decision will be made. Somebody wants to fix and heal a situation when it comes to new love or concerns about that. And there's going to be a hard heart conversation about long-term commitment and an apology and concerns about single and available to pursue. There's this relationship here and wanting to make some power moves towards this household and family situation and travel when the timing is right. And they want to change something and it looks like there's going to be some kind of unexpected turn of events, something that's going to be positive coming in when it comes to your romantic love life. Someone has regrets about this ending and wants to go out, have a good time, and is concerned about this infringing party. I was foolish about the situation. There's a message you've been waiting for. Let's go out, spend time together. There's a secret. I know there's a lot of huge potential. Someone reacted. We see there's a lot of optimism and concerns about heartache and wanting to make power moves when it comes to this money and finance situation. So maybe they're gonna also try to buy your affections here, Pisces. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? Well, they may want to travel to you. They may want to accomplish something here. They definitely want to do some passionate stuff with you with the Knight of Wands energy coming out. Um, there may be this concern about another person around it. Yeah, I definitely hear Knight of Wands out there. Okay, you hear that motorcycle? That's Knight of Wands. The universe is saying, yeah, Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll see more information about it. I want to reunite with you, Pisces. I'm very cautious. I want to defend my position when it comes to uh, giving, appreciating. Okay, that's the gift card energy. Okay. So we see the obstacle or blockage. Can I accept what this person has to offer here? <laughs> All right. So someone desperately wants to hold on to you for a pentacles energy. And I see that there is some kind of definitive decision or legal decision around this. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. Okay. And it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or someone who's giving some kind of advice. Okay, there could be a house, home, and family situation around this and having to take responsibility because of something from before. So you're doing a lot of soul searching here with the Hermocrit energy and it looks like there's communication about love and this concern about this loss of money. Um, it looks like there's a lot of potential for a, um, a long-term emotional fulfillment and it looks like this, this is a person you feel is divinely guided for you, like a twin flame kind of energy. But there's been a lot that has happened here. And it's like, can I get over what has happened here? Can we move past this regrets of this situation? All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. And also, my beautiful darlings, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. Yeah, and definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. And I just did a, um, a reading on, so basically your birth date can tell you a lot about yourself, but also other people around you and even your soulmate. So it can tell you about the interactions between you and that person and the compatibility and all that. There's a lot of information there. So I did do a video on that and I covered everyone's birth date of, and also the master numbers as well. So if you want to go check that out, you can check that out uh, right after this. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.